What's up, everybody? I'm Derek Gamer. Welcome back to the channel today. Today, we're back as the more tales of Rise. We're back with another guy video, and this time, this one was asked by the Smooky Man. They're like, DJ, show us the loadout for skills and what makes sense for the bunt outfit. So today, what we're gonna be going over my loadout, why I why I like it, and how to optimize your flow through battle, keep enemies juggle, keep enemies in the air. So my family, without further ado, let's dive in. First thing we're gonna do is go through the arts. So in my original video, I told you guys, hey, you wanna have a special loadout for bosses because the bosses don't, you can't juggle bosses in the air, but you can juggle regular enemies. But say you did wanna keep an air, uh, aerial attack because a lot of times, a lot of bosses are really tall. So you can use your aerial attack and continue your combos as well. But I'll give you a quick overview of the skills I'm using. I like server and win to take my take the enemies up. I like vacuum blades, and I'll just give my philosophy first. I like fast skills. In this game, you can get locked in animation lock. What is animation lock? Meaning you're doing your animation, you're doing your attack, and the enemy hits you before you can transition or or evade or go into your next attack. So for me, I personally don't like using the long ones. Some of the DLC skills you get, they're very flashy and cool, but they're very long. So I don't find them as useful. For me, the thing is, how can I continuously keep my enemies juggled? How can I keep my attacks coming? And how can I get in and out of battle as fast as I possibly can? So some of the fastest one, I, I use some of the fastest ability. This one's fast and quick to activate, go straight up. I feel like Lightning Blade might be a little faster, but I like this one more. And there's options too. You can switch out any skills you want. Play what's comfortable to you, but this one I'm working on. So I like keeping my triangle as my up skill. So it always makes me remember triangle up, square in the middle, 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 X down. And it just flows that way in my brain better. Triangle up, square, middle, X down. So that's exactly how I flow it. So I like several ones to take them up. Vacuum blade is a fast attack. It's quick. One, two, three. And it goes right into incineration blade, which is good. Dragon Swarm is cool. I like this one because it's a cool looking skill. I use this one sparingly because it is a three hit. So you can get stuck sometimes. So make sure you know what you're doing when you're using it. For my aerial attacks, I use Voice Slash. And Voice Slash is very good because one, it gives you Syrian Gale, which brings you to use the elemental fire attack that goes straight down. Sometimes when you're using like Rising Phoenix, it flies way over the enemy or doesn't hit the enemy so like it's a waste of time because i'm using all of my hp to charge that attack up and i'm not even hitting the monster so like what's the point so i like this one because it goes straight down also void slash is a hidden art that vacuums waves the enemy so essentially what it does is it sucks the enemy into the air sucks them towards you so you can keep your combos going if you're, if you're combing with your other characters it just keeps the numbers going up I like Luna Rondo. Why? Because it's quick, it's fast, and this keeps the enemy spin. I cycle between this one and Voice Slash while they're in the air. And Rising Phoenix is not necessarily a skill I use too often, but when I do use it, it's only for me to get out of the way. So say I'm fighting a bunch of enemies, enemies, I'm about to get attacked, I use Rising Phoenix to kind of evade my way out of the attack and position myself for my elemental fire attack. So on the other side, what I have over here is I have my Sonic Flash. Essentially what I want to do is I want to make sure I'm utilizing every single one of the fire attacks, the Blazing Sword abilities. So I use Shockwave for the Slash. So I can use Internal, internal Infernal Turret. Uh, I use this one. You can use any one you want for the middle skill. There's a bunch of options here. If I wasn't using this one, another one I like using is the Destruction one or demon fang i like or use demon fangs as a i use this as a attack that hits enemies from a distance so say enemies in a distance you can replace it with demon demon fang i forgot to do that here huh? if you like it's a two attack and goes incineration wave or sun i like using sonic thrust on, the, on this one because it helps me close the gap a little bit double sonic thrust does there and back which isn't as useful i like keeping the gap so i can one keep the combo going and also I can continue to keep my strike gauge going. But as you guys notice, as you're fighting the monster, the blue strike gauge fills up. When it fills up, that means that the enemy is about to die. So you wanna make sure you're optimizing your battles. 
on the other side i just i don't really mess with too many aerial attacks in the air because majority of the time the enemies don't stay up for that long they stay up for maybe one two attacks then they come down so i wouldn't really necessarily be switching all of my aerial attacks that often unless like we find another way to keep them up in the air even longer so this is my loadout I'll kind of go over some of the skills here's a lot of good skills so essentially what i have on my equipment i have i went with a stamina ring because it, it decreases my ag cost by 50 percent and why you want to use this because you want to be able to go through your abilities and have more abilities to use and the more times you use your ability the more damage you're doing the more damage you're doing the faster you're killing the enemy so what i'm gonna do is just quickly demonstrate all of this in battle so you guys can see some of the things I'm working with. I still have some ways to go with my SP, my tree. There's a couple more things. And look at that. There's still a couple of more things we haven't unlocked yet. So. All right, so let's go ahead and demonstrate this. First thing I'm going to demonstrate is just on the ground battling. So on the ground battling. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got that broken. See the double demon pack I put in there? It kind of flows. There's, there's a little bit of delay. Come on. And there it is. That's the combo. This flows. Everything just flows so well. Vacuum blade. And I really like. See, sometimes they go down like that. And that's why I use a rising phoenix. So next thing I want to look at, something I kind of touched on in the last battle is aerial combat so aerial combat is important because alfin is a very 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 good juggler juggler means keep him in the air he has some good combos so the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you pay attention to break and break is exactly when you're able to start juggling them and i'm sure you guys know that by now but in case you're new you want to look for right there where it says break boom boom I love that. Just cycle through those two with an in and out. I love using face voice voice lab because it brings the enemy back in. Use the Luna, slap them around, bring them back in. You know, Luna slap them around, and if I need to, I'll get out of there with rising with Phoenix, and I'll use Phoenix again. See, Phoenix is good because one, it clears out my area, gives me that distance I need to protect myself, and also two. If I want to take it into my attack, my flame attack, I can. So also too, I talked about Sari and get why I like that skill because boom, I like this one because it takes them straight down. It has to be literally my, one of my favorite abilities. So I love taking them in the air like that. Depend on how many enemies are around me or if i want if i'm safe i will use that and literally waste all of my hp because i know that shione is ready to start healing me right after so now it wouldn't be an ultimate guide if we didn't go over the skill panel and see what skills you should prioritize when you're using alfin in battle so as you guys know alfin is my main character for some of you guys he is as well because he's a sword player is super cool with the blazing sword so for me i like to utilize my blazing sword abilities i like to utilize my counter abilities and i just want to make my character overall stronger there's a lot of things in here and your skill points are limited as you play through the game so you want to prioritize the skills that make sense for your playthrough so i'll just start i'll go skill by skill based on what i have you know dlc ones i'll skip the dlc ones in case you guys don't have those but if you do they're not too crazy but i'll start with the ones you get in the game so one increase critical damage one not prioritizing that list easier perfect evading which is very very useful because you're going to do a lot of dodging and from this list the other ones are cool if you have extra points get them if you don't it's fine this one i would say faster flaming charge would be good and the flaming edge get more damage from that rising phoenix 
if you want to utilize that attack i don't use it as much you can kind of wait on this one if you want to until later on increase down damage sure but i felt like that enemies are not down for that long so i wouldn't necessarily prioritize this one next and from this list i would say ag restore a perfect perfect garden yes increase counter damage yes this is literally the best skill he gets by going through the game. Counter edge upon defeating enemy. When you kill defeat an enemy, you instantly counter to another enemy, which is great, which stacks with this. So you want to make sure you're always getting these because as you're going through killing enemies more and more and more and more, you're going to be able to do even more damage. Everything else, sure, we have extra points. This tree, I would say, increased counter damage like always. Shockwave slash um, over, over limit extension. That's pretty good. Made air, sure. These two will be the most important ones from that list. Serenation wave, of course. That's still so good. I still got to get this one. But flaming edge will be good. From this, we'll, of course, increase max AG. Mid air evasion, very important. Everything else based on. Oh, Severin wins. Yes, I use this one a lot. So that one's good. Here, increase AG, increase AG. Mm, weak point. There. That one. Here. Of course, these are the ones you want to get. Critical hit. It's kind of hard to identify like how often you crit, but having more AG when you crit is good. And a lot of these, how do you a lot of people are saying, DJ, how do you get these? You get these by Playing the game, make sure you cook with outfit. You do start your side quests. You fight all the the special monsters, the ones that are super strong that give you the astral key. That's how you unlock a lot of his abilities. And when we are in a cam zone as well, make sure you're talking to your companions. Here, voice slash, I like a lot. Easier over limit, faster AG charging. So as you guys are identifying, faster AG charging counter attack is the ones I would go through and get first. This one here, this kind of damage. As you can see, I have like 90 hours in the game at this point, and I still haven't got everything. So there's a lot to play to have in this game. Also, there's a lot more things you're gonna unlock after in this new game plus. Increase counter damage, easy, easier garden, faster AG, of course. The more AG you have, the more damage you can do. And increase counter rate. Oh. This is my overview of the skills of what is important for Alpha. I think you guys got the idea of what you should be looking for. Increase counter damage, increase your frame arts and dodging and getting your AG as high as possible. Everything else is cool, but those are the ones that are really take your gameplay to the next level. So now let's just go over the attacks in general. So two, three, four. That one is kind of one, two, three, four. Get in and out. So, one, two, three, four. It's kind of cool. That's probably my longest attack, but I like that one because it looks cool. I love that one. It's fast, 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 fast. You got to be quick. Boom, fast. Because if you're wasting time, you're not going to be able to cancel your attacks. See? I keep my combos going, get to my supers. The demon thing, I'll take that one out because it has too long of a hesitation. And that one's quick too. Boom. And why do I have Sockway Slash? Because it goes straight into this one. Like I said, I want to be able to use every one of my abilities. So those are the skills I'm using. In the air, we saw Luna. We saw Voice Slash Flash. Luna. And get out of there. See? Look at that. Go in there, spam if I need to. And that's the benefit of having a stamina ring. I can literally keep on going over and over and over my abilities. And I can get out of there if I need to. You gotta know your exit strategy and your entry strategy also as well. See? Boom. But ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Hoping you enjoyed the video. This is my preview of my outfit and what I'm currently using. I'm just loving it. The battlefield is good, it's fun, it's fast, and it's super effective. But comment below, what are some things you're switching out? What skills do you use in your loadout? 
my family. If you're new, make sure you guys subscribe. Till next time, dear gamers, signing out. Have you